you've got to honestly give me your opinion, mm. you prefer petrol still or EV? Look, I I, uh, I think that... Um, uh, I mean, you're really umming and ahhing. If you had now $130,000, would you buy the petrol or would you buy the EV? All right, guys. I mean, I must say, it is, it is a class above some of the other cars here, but then again, it's also double the price of quite a lot of them. It's probably got features that I can't even work out what they do. I mean, for the back, I actually got decent restroom, nice and firm. Feels very luxurious, doesn't it? Doesn't it, just? Yeah, 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 yeah. We've got two models. So obviously the GV70 looks even more impressive. I mean, that's a huge little baby. Well, this is definitely more than some of the other models had. Got all your bits and pieces there. The Genesis, probably the Genesis sunglasses coming with it and the first eight kit. Oh my God. I think when you sit in that car, you, suddenly your ego goes bigger because you think you're more important. It certainly uh, it's come a long way from where Hyundai was in Australia 10, 12 years ago. I mean, it's an absolute complete game changer, this car. I'm very impressed. Okay, so I'm here to find out which EV I should buy. And I'm here with Evan. Genesis yeah. is growing in Australia. And we're here to stay. 120, 130,000. So it's gotta be a good car for that kind of money. So what are the key top reasons that I should pick that car. Mm. The way that we provide our offering to the market is you'll get a lot more for a lot less. You'll see a lot of Korean design philosophies in the car as well. They can be very finicky. They want to really be precise. They call them I wouldn't the Germans of Asia. I've, I've heard that before. I wouldn't call it finicky. I'd uh, call it precision. Right, right, right. So we've got things like the beauty of white space. There's a lot of uh, areas in the car where we kind of mute the experience um, because essentially a calm uh, environment gives you a calm driving experience. And this one has more range because it's been more expensive or, or what? With the GV70, this one will come with yeah, mid 400s as a, as a range. In my old Merc, mm. I don't know if it's legal or not, I actually got video that I can watch TV. What do you got on the inside that is sexy? Firstly, I'm not sure if that's legal, but <laughs> I mean, in terms of appeal, for example, like GV60, we have a crystal ball in the middle of the car. So that crystal ball will actually show you the ambient lighting options that you have in the car. When you turn the car on, that will actually revolve and show you the gear dial. I mean, if you drive that as an Uber and turn up, they never want to get out of the car. I mean, I'd be surprised if you got anything less than five stars. What about the warranties? So we offer our clients five years unlimited kilometer warranty, five years of uh, roadside anywhere in Australia. For uh, the EVs, we actually offer 10 years. We also offer the first five of your services will be complimentary. Right. And if you live within uh, 70 kilometers of Sydney, Brisbane or Melbourne CBD, uh, we'll actually come and pick up the car from you and take it to service. We offer a valet, oh. valet service. Gee, that poor bastard lives 71 k's. <laughs> Let's just move the seat oh. back a bit. Oh. I just want to see what happens. All right, I'm moving that, I'm moving that, okay. You've got the, oh, this can go up and down too, beautiful. So what's the most exciting about this car? If you had one feature that you go, this car really smacks it. To be honest, I think just if you're looking for a vehicle that has good pedigree, good history, quality features that some cars either don't have or you need to pay much more for, you can't go past Genesis. Right. For luxury, I mean, it's the same DNA as Hyundai. We're just the upmarket version and I can't look past this at right. all. Right. So, I mean, from a safety point of view, etc., you got, obviously with this new mirror, so you, you can kind of see all the blind spots. It gives you the beep, beep, beep when there's somebody in there, all that kind of stuff. Of course, yeah. So we're fitted with pretty much state-of-the-art technology. Our front collision avoidance system mm. uh, won an award um, from JD Power about two and a half months ago now. So if a pedestrian comes along, does the car tells you, does it? Yeah, correct. Obviously, if you are driving towards a vehicle mm. and you're driving too fast, you don't notice, yeah. it'll warn you and then hit the brakes. Some brands, they don't work very well at night. Ours is fine. Day or night, doesn't matter. But Same. My wife is very interested in the color of the car. Okay. So, so you know, that's number one. Is it only in white or what do we got? So we have white, black, silver, blue. We yeah. call it Capri Blue. Right. It's very deep. Anything funky? We have something called Barossa Burgundy. So that one's more of your wine purple color. So they're all kind of a bit classy sounding. That's until you go into the performance version of the vehicle and then you get the matte paints. So ah. you've got copper, 
you've got grey. We do have also one which is our hero colour. It's called Hanoma Mint. Hanoma Mint? Hanoma Mint. Right, you need a degree to say that, is it? You said that perfect, I but I don't think I, I... I would like the Hanoma Mint, please. <laughs> So, is that like a very soft green? It's more of your lighter, paler blue, almost pastel. I just don't know if I can afford it. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm falling in love, not the way you sell it, just the way the car looks. I've flown business class and then you never want to go back to economy and it feels really, it feels really stylish mm. and it feels like you possibly get a lot of value for actually the money despite it being a bit more. Ooh, okay, so you've got to moment. honestly give me your opinion. Mm. You prefer petrol still or EV? I'm a petrol head, I'm going to buy petrol. EV, come to Dubai. I find that EV will have a little bit more of a challenge nationally in Australia. Then let's say in Denmark or in Holland. Where, where, where we hear that they've had charges on the uh, side of the street for years now. Mm. There are some brands that will give you an EV and that's it. Genesis excels at reducing the obstacle to owning an EV. We can bundle some pretty good offerings in terms of home charges, public charging uh, subscriptions. We fit the vehicle with a 350 kilowatt uh, charge capacity battery, whereas some other brands, they don't. We're one of the only vehicles on the market that can charge another EV off ours. If I'm looking at EVs on the market, it's hard to go past Genesis. But I also think there is still a resistance about EVs. I mean, if you want that problem, just whack a big solar system on, get a battery, charge it from the solar, drive for free, and you're gonna be really fine. I mean, yeah, then you're sponsored by the sun. All right, I'll sell your solar system, you sell me the car, okay? Thanks Thank so you so much. much. Thank you so Cheers. much. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and check out all our other videos. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products, tools and calculators and find your quality local installers. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.